guys. I'm trying to get this all set up here. Okay. I've, this is my second time videoing this. Hopefully this time it comes out. Um, it didn't like the format or something, so I am going to do this again, but I'm going to try to do it a little quicker. Um, I wanted to show you all how to make this cool watercolor background. And this is the ones I did earlier. And we'll put those to the side. These are some I did in different colors. So I did those yesterday and just I've fallen in love with this technique. So it's really cool. And we're using the Broadway Birthday Bundle. Um, some of the other elements I have added to it, but this is a really cool um, set to use. Um, I have a hostess code here that will be open till July 31st, and then I'm closing it. So if you'd like to order any of the supplies, you can definitely do that. And as a thank you, I will send you one of these birthday cards that you can send to your favorite person and also have for ideas. Um, two other sets that are also awesome for birthdays are the birthday backgrounds and the picture perfect birthday. This card actually has the birthday background. So I've used the confetti here, the streamers, and then the candles across the bottom. So that's what I've done there. Alrighty. So what you're going to need is a piece of watercolor paper and re-inkers. So you'll need some re-inkers and I think I'm gonna do this one just maybe in lemon lime twist, we'll see. So I've got my little paint tray. I'm going to add some re-inker in here. Hopefully you can, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I'm in the camera. Okay, you're going to take your aqua marker. First thing you're going to do is wet down your page. And I have a little bit of blue, I think, still left in this, but that's okay. It's not going to. So, and can you see? See how it's got the water on it? Okay, so we're going to do that to the page. Then you're going to pick up some of your ink and then apply it. To the wet area okay and it just spreads it's so cool it, it just adds such a neat background oops that didn't have as much water on it so it didn't want to spread okay i'm going to come back and add some darker green in here okay then we can just let that, you're going to have to let it dry. And I think I'm going to add just a little touch more to the green. Make it more vibrant. Right. Okay. You can kind of touch some of that green in other areas. Okay. All right. There's my background. Okay, then you're gonna have to clean your end and I'm just gonna, I've got water to the side. I'm just gonna, the fastest way is to dip it in some clean water. And then you'll take your paper towel and just try to get all that green out of there. For, that way you'll be ready for your next project. Okay. So, we will move this out of the way. This has to dry and I know you don't wanna sit there and wait for it to dry with me so I'm going to stick that to the side and these are two that I actually did this morning so I did one that was half in the tempting turquoise and the lemon lime twist and then this is just tempting turquoise so we are going to decorate those and I think one of them I may use the stamparatus and put the hooray in it I think that'll be pretty. So we're gonna take our hooray and we want the dots. 
so it's, this is a two-step, so it's got the dots that go with it. We're going to bring in our Stamparatus. We'll move this out of the way. Okay. And we'll put this under here for our lift. Okay, put our paper in here. And what I'm going to do is put the... I haven't punched out all the little holes of this. It still has the little dots in it. Okay. All right. What I want to do is put that around it. So I'm just going to kind of put that there to see where I want to line this up. So that looks good. So now we can pick it up. Okay, we're going to pick that up. Now we can move that away. And because this is photopolymer, we have to use this mat underneath. This helps to have, it gives it cushion, and it needs that cushion in order to stamp good. All right. And, hmm, if I do the black, I won't be able to do the dots. But we're going to do the black. We're not going to worry about the dots. Whoops. Because I don't know of any other color I want to put on top of that. So we're just going to do black and you want to ink it up good okay. and this is watercolor paper so I may have to do this twice we're gonna see yep I'm gonna do it twice because this is kind of faint right there so that's the the loveliness of having this apparatus is it lines it up perfectly so I can stamp it again and I still feel like I need more ink right there in the center okay And I just kind of push on it, rub, let it sit there for a little bit. Okay. Oh, much better, much better. I could, I'm going to see if I can push on and hold that for a second. See if I can get that little spot. That's good. Okay, so I can put this away. And let's see. Then we can put this on top of that. Oops, let me go ahead and put my, my stamp away. These things are clear and they'll just get stuck with something and then I won't find them. And this actually has, hooray, I can do Let's Celebrate You. Let's Celebrate You. And what I'm going to do with this one I'm just going to take a strip of, and this is actually the watercolor paper too, but we're going to see if we can get it uh, stamped on there good, because I'm just going to use the normal method of, whoops, i got to get this straight. Okay. So, we're going to stick that there. Make sure our stains inked up good. All right, and we're just gonna hold it there for a second. Make sure it's nice and stamped. Yes, perfect. Okay, then I'm just going to hand cut this out. And you could, let's just go ahead and go straight. Straight down. Whoops, whoops, I lost my, <laughs> my saying. It got away from me. So, you could actually make a banner, just do this straight. I'm going to see what a banner looks like, because I can always cut it off. This is how I like to do my banners. There. And then there. And so there is my little banner. Cute, huh? Then we have our other embellishments. Um, we could still do the birthday theme and put a little hat there. Or put a candle, put a little hat here. 
very cute. Then, that's not the right color. Let's see if I have a tempting turquoise over here, or yes, I do. That tempting turquoise. We're gonna lift this up, put that on there. That is adorable. Of course, you'll, well, we'll just go ahead and put it together. Let me get my glue. We're just going to go ahead and put it together. Let's dump everything off. Glue this down first. Alrighty. Then it'll be done. Okay. Line it up. Okay. There we go. Trying to hold it a little bit because it's watercolor paper. It's a little bit more porous, and I just want to make sure it's going to stay down. Okay. Then we're going to add a little bit of glue to this. I had a box class today. The girls had a good time. I'm so glad. They loved all the boxes we created. And I had one new person. I love to have new people in my classes and love to have them in my club and as friends. Okay. I'm going to use our mini dimensionals, which I absolutely love. I was always cutting the big ones in half because they were just too big. Or I, for some reason, I felt like I was wasting them, but now I don't feel like I'm wasting them. Plus, I get more. Let's do that one there. Let's pop up our celebrate here. Whoops. I've got ink all over my hands. <laughs> so we're going to add three onto here. You could add rhinestones to this to really bling it up if you wanted to. Whoops. I'm sticking to everything. So, let's see, I'm going to do that just like that, okay, and let's add, and what's great about the candle, it's kind of thin, so I cut the edge of this, of the dimensionals, because it's got a, just a flat edge all the way around, and you can use these and cut them thin and get them on your candle. So don't ever throw away your edges, they can be used. Okay, get these off there, and put our little, so what a pretty, cute, and simple card. I mean, anybody can do that watercolor wash. Just remember, um, don't mix colors that do not go together. You know, green and yellow make blue. Um, so the blue mixes in with this, it just makes a different shade of blue, but if you were to use purple with maybe this green and they bleed, it's going to make a brown mess. So just think about your colors when you're blending. And uh, another trick is the wish. You can actually use the negative and just make sure you save your little... Um, piece that came out of the H. So you want to save that and put that back in. So you can make a card with the back piece of the wish or of course you can use the wish. And then somewhere over there I have a dot so you can use that. And then you can add all these other elements to it and you've got wonderful cards. So if you'd like to have one of these cards, um, you can go to my site, which is girlshavingfun.stampinup.net. Use this code by July um, 31st, and I will send you one of these beautiful cards. So you will get one. It'll be a surprise of which color or which one you get in the mail. So I have lots now, now that I've been creating all morning. 
Um, and of course, if you sign up as a demonstrator underneath me, I will send you one of these cards for sure and maybe something else. I will add a little surprise or extra card in there. So I'd love to have you on my team. And uh, they do have a wonderful special right now. You get uh, 10 ink pads free or as an extra gift. When you sign up, the kit's only $99, so the ink pads is almost worth the kit price. But you get to pick out $125 worth of merchandise that you want, plus you get the $75 worth of inks. You get a paper pumpkin kit and um, a demo uh, packet worth $50. So you get lots of great stuff. And of course, you'll have me as your demonstrator. So, and it doesn't matter where you are, I can help you um, online as much as I can, and of course by phone or email, text, so. Alright, take care everybody, and have a wonderful Sunday. Hugs, bye.